Can we talk about Ludwig and how he's just randomly so lucky when it comes to gambling? I know, this is a very weird topic, but you know what? I'm busy and I tried thinking of something very last minute. One of my friends was like, you can talk about Ludwig's luck, so hey, here's what we're doing. Anyways, what's going on, champs and champets? It's Fire Monkey here, and I'm pretty sure everyone out there has heard about the glorious game made by Valve called the Counter-Strike franchise, but in particular, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Whether you've known about it from the whole entire T. Martin and Pro Syndicate scandals in the past, regarding them owning a gambling website and acting like they didn't own it, or whether you've heard it from it having a seven-day trade ban because of how bad the gambling scene was, you know what, now that I say that out loud, there is just a lot of gambling in the scene. Anyways, you've probably heard about the game. It's basically every other game out there. It's Valorant without the special abilities. It's just another shooter game that's been around for a very long time, and a lot of people tend to enjoy it. However, something I want to mention here is that Ludwig, this, you know, wonderful YouTube streamer, this wonderful YouTube content creator, decided that he was going to be doing a bro versus pro situation where he would be versing a Counter-Strike Global Offensive pro named Terry later tonight. Now, the interesting thing about it, however, was his way of practicing was to spend a countless amounts of money opening up cases in order to get cool rewards. Whether it be knives, whether it be gloves, or a Swag 7, this guy was out there trying to get all of the items he could while just using his stream for glorious free content. But don't worry, because it's not just gambling, it's gambling with a cat cam. That's right, he has an actual thumbnail right now at the time you're recording this YouTube video, where it says, click the stream, or the cat gets it, basically. So, you know, this is a very interesting streamer we're talking about here. Love the humor, love everything about him, but man, do I not love his luck when it comes to gambling. That sounds like something very interesting to say, so let me give you guys a little bit of backstory. Back when I was younger, I was way more into CSGO. I'd have this, like, crappy Alienware laptop, which, to be honest, wasn't that crappy. It was just more crappy how I had handled it to the point where I could feel, like, electricity through the, like, seeps at the bottom where the keyboard would be. If I had my arm on the side, I could sometimes feel a little bit of electricity there. So I had, you know, damaged that thing a little bit, but also I was a lot younger, so it makes sense. Anyways, with this whole entire situation of me being into CSGO in the past, when I was a lot younger, I would go to my grandma's basically like every other weekend, and she would casually just, you know, be like, do you want $20 most of the time? I'd take the $20, and instead of investing it in Bitcoin when it was, you know, very cheap or anything like that, um, and then again, I don't really care about NFTs or cryptocurrencies, so I guess I wouldn't have done that back then anyways, what I did do was put all the money into CSGO gambling websites and try trading my way up or gambling my way up on coin flips, slot machines, roulette tables, and more to try getting a free knife. Now keep in mind, I was young. I should not have been gambling. Do I have a gambling addiction? Probably. I don't even know anymore. But yeah, I had noticed that, you know, every time uh, I would go over to my grandma, spend $20, I'd end up either winning a knife and then gambling the knife and losing the knife, or I would just lose all the money right away. It was a thing when it came to CSGO. CSGO was the way to get yourself into the gambling world when it came to gambling CSGO skins. And in fact, CSGO's actual case opening system for stins themselves is also a form of gambling because you have to actually get the box either by playing enough matches to get it as a drop, asking other people for their boxes to give it to you, and then you have to buy a key for $2.50 in order to open this box. Now, in the box, you have a chance of getting some very cheap items that are maybe like 10 cents where you'll lose like $2, or you could get this very rare knife or glove that's worth over $1,000. And when Ludwig decided to actually go live on Twitch and start open up these boxes as his practice in head of the Tarek battle, he managed in his first box just to casually get a knife. And this wasn't just any knife, you know, this wasn't one of the cheap discounted knives with terrible float values or anything. No, this was a knife that according to the Steam Marketplace was worth around $1,000, and according to some CSGO, you know, knowledge out there, apparently this has a special rainbow pattern that makes it worth even more if you were to try selling it to a collector. And all while being in factory new condition. And yet this was his first box ever. Ever. This was his first box he had ever opened in CSGO. He didn't have anything else in CSGO, just the default stuff, and he had never really even played the game before. After that, you know, he started spending money on more keys and stuff, you know, opening up more cases, and while the luck was very generic after that, where, you know, you're getting blues, you're getting purples, whatever it might be, he did still manage to pull some pretty good items, like this gun you're seeing in the background footage right now, which on the Steam Marketplace is worth around $120 to $150. So I'm just here making 
making a video talking about, man, why is this luck so good? I even reinstalled the game, installed the whole entire thing, and bought some cases, bought some keys, in order to try getting some, you know, nice little cosmetics in the game, you know, some nice little designs or whatever, maybe even a knife, and instead, the best thing I got was this weasel gun you're seeing on screen right now. Yep, I got a nice little cool weasel. I also got a stack track P90 Grim, which I think was around like a dollar total. So overall, I kind of lost a lot of money doing this, but also I kind of wanted just to do it because I was like, if his luck's so good, maybe my luck can be the same way. So what's the moral of this YouTube video? Don't gamble. That's all. Have a nice day, champs and champets, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow with a Binding of Isaac episode. Peace out.